the Five of Cups, the Eight of Cups reversed, and the Eight of Wands reversed. Okay, Pisces. What's going on, my dear little Pisces? Five of Cups, of course, is talking about that loss, the feeling of loss. And Cups is dealing with emotions, love, the, the loss. You're draped in black. Your head is bowed. You see these three cups that are already spilled, but you don't see the two in behind you. So you're only looking at this, not at this. So what this is telling me, Pisces, is it's not over. It's not over. This is not the end of your world. This is just the part that hurts because you need to walk away. So the Eight of Cups reversed. Have you already walked away or has another person walked away? Which has left you feeling very lonely and by yourself. So with this being said, you have these eight cups right here that are fully, they're full, they're, they're not spilled over like this, but this person is walking away. So you look at it like, okay, fine, um, this hurt, uh, I have the moon phase here, it hurt me deeply, I was in the dark about everything, I don't know what to do, but here comes the eight of wands. And uh, it's reversed, but it's telling me that you're slowly but surely starting to get out of any type of mental stagnation. So the wands are saying, well, you know, maybe I can start over. Maybe I can do this. Maybe it isn't as bad as as I thought it was. I mean, I just get a lot of feeling, emotional feeling when I'm laying out your cards and doing this reading. So I feel that there are some of you that you've been very, very hurt. And if this all happened in the month of August, I wouldn't be surprised. So it's taking, you know, a little while to try to wade through the emotions and process but I feel you're getting there Pisces I feel you're getting there let's get some clarification on this what does Pisces need to know after the five of cups what does Pisces need to know after the five of cups I have the moon here so you're still in that moon phase which means subconscious Part. So I feel that what you're doing is your, this is you standing there, and the moon is surrounding you. Moon is always dealing with the subconscious. So you may not know everything that you're supposed to know, but I feel what's happening is the dust is settling and you're going to start seeing clearer. So let's make sure we have this with the other cards, but that's just what I'm getting right off hand, is you are going to start seeing clearer because you're wading through all of these emotions. You're wading through things. And I also feel that you're wanting proof. All right, so proof of what the other person, you know, what they did do or didn't do, or, you know, it could be uh somebody at work or you know it could be anything but you're waiting through your emotions and waiting for that proof so what is it that Pisces needs to know about this eight of cups reversed what comes after the eight of cups reversed Oh, wonderful. I knew it. The sun. So you went from the moon to the sun very quickly. You went from darkness to total, total 
consciousness, you know what you need to know, I feel, in order to move on, to get your projects done, to get things happening for you. What comes after the Eight of Wands? What comes after the Eight of Wands? Uh, what have you learned, Pisces? Judgment is all about what have you learned. So I feel that whatever it is that you have gone through, you processed it, you saw the light, you learned from it. And if you learn from a Pisces, guess what? You're never going to have to repeat it again. And look at this. You have three major arcana. So this is happening very, very quickly. And I feel it will be happening within the month of September. What's the ultimate outcome for Pisces? With the moon and the five of cups, what is the ultimate outcome? You are queen of your world again. This brings you right back to where you were before. So you are, the wands here were reversed. Now the wand is upright and you're sitting on your throne. You're, you know exactly what you want to do. You have the ideas. There's a lot of red around here. So wands are action. And you're ready for it. So you're coming back to yourself. How wonderful. What's the ultimate outcome for the Eight of Cups and the Sun for Pisces? What is the ultimate outcome? Jeez. Okay. Now you have the Queen of Swords. <laughs> so once you start see the light once you know what's going on you're never going to allow anything to come between you to hurt you to tie you up to you know stop all movement you're never going to allow that to happen again so the queen of swords is she's holding this sword and she's saying okay you can come here but if she doesn't like what you want She's going to use that sword. So she's, you, you, this is the person who says yes or no in her world because she's been through the ringer and back and she's not going to allow anyone to mess with that world again. What comes after the Eight of Wands and Judgment? Comes after the Eight of Wands and Judgment. The Knight of Swords. Whew. Okay. Eight of Wands, Judgment. You've learned. What are you going to do? See, the Queen of Swords and the Queen of Wands, these are, this can be male or female energy. So is the Knight of Swords. But I feel what you're going to do is you've learned from it and you're like, now I'm ready to go. Get out of my way. Here I come. So you've come a long way from this to this. And it's going to happen in a short amount of time. I'm so happy for you, Pisces. And thank you so much for watching. 